I'm Michelle, I'm 17 and I'm here to look at caregiving for the older person. I really want to work in an industry where I can help people and make a difference in someone's life. We're taking Michelle to Whangarei and to the Kama Rest Home and Village to look at the job of a caregiver. Oh, good morning Michelle, how are you? My name's Dale and um, I'm the Education Coordinator here. How about I take you um, around Kama Home and just show you what we've got, got here. Okay, sounds cool. Okay. Here at the village there's four residential blocks, three of them requiring different levels of care. At Tuatara Court, the residents are independent but there's help when it's required. Alice Court is a dementia care unit, here the supervision is very hands-on, and Carmo is the rest home. This is the rest home area and we have 40 beds, 40 residents um, reside in the rest home area and they need to be reasonably mobile. Michelle starts out by helping with breakfast at Alice Court, the specialist care unit. The girls have usually um, got the residents up and dressed and showered. Now some of these people have memory loss um, and they probably aren't sure, you know, they might feel a bit hungry in their tummy but they're not quite sure where to go for breakfast. After breakfast um, they usually have grooming where they go, the caregivers um, clean their teeth and um, do their hair, maybe a bit of lippy on the ladies. Okay. Who are yours? All mine, are they? Okay. Well, I think you need to be a caring person. I think you need to have um, a gentle nature and, um, and respect for the old person. Back at Tuatara Court, Michelle helps with the morning rounds. OK, we'll go and see if she, she'll needs a hand with anything. But first of all, we always knock on the door because this is their house and uh, we wait for them to come or answer. Hello, Sheila. This Hello. is Michelle. Hello, and Michelle. Um, we're just calling in to see if we can help you with anything today. Sheila Mason often needs a bit of help in the morning. It's the little fiddly things that can be the hardest to handle. And today, Sheila needs help with her earrings. Oh, is it a there bit? You go. Oh good, thank you. <laughs> Carmo resident Audrey Murray has been a keen gardener all her life and she's taken on the job of keeping the village colourful. Would you like to come and show us, you know, where the weeds are that you want, that need pulling out because Michelle's more yeah. than happy to oh. do it. You enjoying that Michelle? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> she can bend over better than me. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's why we need young people to do this sort of thing for you, don't we? It's really important to um, look at the resident as a person and look at the interests that they had before they came into, into care um, because um, we want to give them personalised care and that means looking at, at them as a person and treating them as an individual. It's nearly time for lunch at Carmo and resident Edna Dooley needs a helping hand getting to the dining room. Here we are dear and I stand and I make sure that she is walked up to her, her frame and she has her hand firmly there because remembering she's got no very little um, movement in this arm at this stage, okay? They may need assistance with dressing um, and their meals, breakfasts, um, assisting to get ready for bed, um, general well-being. All right, Edna? The regular routine of three healthy meals a day all adds to that feeling of well-being too. Right, for your lunch today we have golden sausages, mashed potatoes, carrots, peas and beans. For your dessert today we have upside down pudding and there's jugs of cream upon your table. Caregivers here get the chance to achieve national certificate qualifications and there's heaps of support information to help them get there. One of the booklets is how to move equipment and people. Okay, And this is what they call a handling belt here and um, they use handling belts to give a resident um, some confidence um, and because the human body doesn't have any handles this lifting belt gives us some handles. Michelle's shown how to fasten and use the belt then it's her turn to give it a go. Okay Michelle do you want to um, put that around my waist to make sure it's nice and firm? One, two, three. Wow, well done. Keeping the residents cheerful and entertained is all part of the job. And 
so when the residents come here, within the first fortnight, we have a family meeting with their families and we talk about all those interests that they had. Um, maybe they can't remember that far back, but you notice that immediately you bring in something like card playing or maybe they love music, uh, maybe they played the piano. Um, we bring those interests into their care and, um, and it gives them a, a, a sense of well-being and, um, and, and, and feeling really good about themselves because maybe they haven't been doing those things at home. I love my job here at Kama Home. I have a real passion about um, the residents in, in Alice Court or in the Dementia Wing. Um, seeing how I can help them and their families have a better quality of life. So how's Michelle done? Michelle has done magnificently. She's got a natural talent. I can see that she's a quick learner and um, I think she, she'd make an awesome caregiver. I think this is an industry that I would really like to get into. I think it's a really nice environment. It's all like a family and it's something I would really like to do in the future. And last word goes to Audrey. Caregivers are angels. <laughs> Structured workplace-based programs ensure qualifications are achieved. Skills are gained on the job and the training can be tailored to your particular interest. The Gateway program allows students to gain work experience and achieve unit standards. There are many job opportunities in the community as New Zealand's ageing population has led to an increase in people requiring care. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.